So, John, I think our next episode should be Say Cheese and Die. Nah, come on, man. We've already watched that one recently. H- how about Vampire Breath? No. No, we got to do it. We got to Say Cheese and Die. No, that's, come... that's next on the docket. Dude, Vampire Breath. I've been wanting to watch that one for a while now. Come on. You picked the last episode. Yeah, but you said we could watch it. Yeah, like eventually watch it, as in <laughs> eventually. You know, you're pissing me off. You know what you can do, John? You can go fuck. eat worms. <laughs> So, this is Boosegumps, a Goosebumps podcast. My name is Luke. And I'm John. And this is season two, episode six, Go Eat Worms. Now, if you're watching on Netflix, it's going to say season two, episode five. That's just not right, folks. So, <laughs> I do. Gotta... Lo- I love you fact checking Netflix on every single one of these we do. It's just I it, mean, it shows your integrity as a as a goosebumps academic, you know? I don't know all the distribution rights and everything, but I'm just gonna keep it real and go off the original air date. Uh so what's it? Go eat worms. That is an interesting title. Almost sounds like that uh is, is this like a diary of a wimpy kid, like uh so one of those like kids book series about eating worms. Oh, how to eat fried worms. I don't know which came first between that and goosebumps, but I have a feeling that R.L. Stein was once again ripped off. <sighs> Just a senseless ripping off of R.L. Stein. It happens all the time. It's, it's so sad to see it. <laughs> you hate to see it. Uh, but uh, John, have you ever eaten worms? No, Luke, I can't say I have. I've never never even thought about it, to be honest. How about you? Really? Uh, gummy worms. <laughs> 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 but, uh, yeah, no, no uh, earthworms for me. Thank you. Mm, probably for the best. But that being said, it's not like I haven't put other disgusting things in my mouth, like this beer that I've together it is a mix of blue moon and a trader jose i call it a bad moon rising (laughs) let's give it a little taste i've mixed half blue moon half trader jose let's see Uh, that looked gross oh well what are you drinking over there well i sir have a very refined and classy vodka peach schnapple cranberry Wow, is this freshman year of college? (laughs) I call it uh, the quarantine shuffle, where I took the one hard liquor we had in the house and mixed it with the two juices we had in the house. Uh, Beautiful. (laughs) Chef's kiss to that. Mm. Mm. And uh, this is our first recording in quarantine. The other episodes we were able to get before the end of the world, and now we are adjusting and recording from home. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, two different homes. If if only we had the foresight to move in together before this and, you know, put your girlfriend out on the street. Or I could have just come stay with you. Or or that. Yeah, that, that would have worked. We don't have to be cruel. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, Rachel. She can't hear you. <laughs> oh, but now she just looked over at me. <laughs> um, yeah, so... I guess let's get this thing going. Let's uh, let's go eat some worms. The melodious in that briefcase. I hope it's locked. Oh no! No! Ew! What? Mm, delicious. A- aggressive start to an episode. <laughs> oh, cool. Shit! Animal someone, cruelty. <laughs> yeah, someone called Peta. This is this is brutal. It's hard to believe that worm actor signed off on that. This kid looks like he loves worms. Perfect casting. 
Is that an older sister, younger sister, or twin sister? Oh, the Robin, the natural enemy of the worm. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> Classic bullying siblings. That worm POV. <laughs> is that what this is? I think so. Oh, you know who that kid is? Who? It's Dylan Minnette. He was actually in the Goosebumps movie with Jack Black. Really? No. <laughs> Come on, Luke. You know I trust you. <laughs> you should it. And he just ate a worm. I don't know what this kid likes. I'm seeing many things in this room. I mean, the worms is... Um, what the... <laughs> Did you hear the mom? <laughs> <laughs> it's gotten worse. Oh, my God. I, oh, yeah, I thought you were my little sister. She's two feet taller than your little sister. <laughs> Whoa, was she? <laughs> no. <laughs> was she? <laughs> no, she wasn't. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, no, they're congregating. Oh, my God. That's so many worms. Like a full... Like, uh, terranium, terrarium, Ter <laughs> terranium. Oh my god! Also, who sleeps face down? <laughs> how See how he's not really freaking out? He's like, oh, I wish there were more. How drunk did I get last night? <laughs> Can't believe you thought I thought it was a good idea to go to bed with these worms. She got to call a psychiatrist. Look, son, what you do with your worms is between you and your god. I got a partner's <laughs> meeting in the morning. <laughs> You keep messing around with these worms like that, you're going to need a lawyer. <laughs> oh, by the way, I meant to say this earlier, but you know how the worms are his, like, are his science fair project? Among other things, yeah. I did a science fair project on worms in the fourth grade. <laughs> Ew, you're the worm kid? That's you? Now, John, when you were handling these worms, did you get any kind of emotional attachment? I did or... not take them to bed with me, I swear. His, his friend's back in. Yeah, he's like, yeah, I know I pranked you with worms, but uh, let's go get some worms. Just a couple of hype beasts over here. Look at these fits. Also, that shot was beautiful. It was. Through the brush, tracking along with the... Kudos. It's not even a good chant. <laughs> That's the best you could come up with? I, I n Run. <laughs> Again, with the shot with the trees and the this is like foreground, this looks background, like an indie film yeah. where like he's gonna turn into a crazy like worm killer. That worm is very phallic, very erect. It is an erect worm. <laughs> oh my god! What if there was a body in there? Just some guy trying to breathe. It's Ryan Reynolds in Buried. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't seen that movie. Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> that was the um, that was the fastest quicksand I've ever seen. Oh my god, this is the same hole that the uh, the barking, barking dogs. dog. <laughs> if you see any Irishman run, oh my god, it is. It's like the same green lit walls. What if every episode of Goosebumps was connected via a series of underground tunnels? Those worms just went from six to midnight. <laughs> Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, that is serial killer level messed That's up. That's terrifying. Alright, now this is just an episode of Fear Factor. Joe Rogan's about to appear. Oh. Todd, if you can lay in the bed of worms for seven minutes, you will pass on to the next round. <laughs> or just wrestle oh, wait, with this one giant worm. Oh my god. This is getting too phallic for me. <laughs> getting? <laughs> worms ain't shit. Could have been a lot worse. Oh, oh god. Spoke too soon. I take it back. Worms are shit. Worms are shit. Worms are shit. Oh, it's hideous. <laughs> and the worm looks pretty gross too. Oh, it's the robin. Wait, what? If the worm was close enough to see the robin, how were the two girls not close enough to see the worm? Worms on the brain. Okay, this the chance growing on me. Yeah, Didn't it's like a lot catchier the next time around. <laughs> Is he releasing them? He better. See, he's not like the other protagonists where they're like, you know, they never learn. He he got the picture pretty quickly when that worm was wrapped around him. This house is now officially worm free. 
<laughs> There's a sass in that statement. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. We were in the same exact wavelength there. <laughs> this house is now worm free. Uh huh. So wait, his solution. The, the only character. His solution wasn't to let the worms go. It's to drown, to, to drown them. them. <laughs> okay, bold strategy. Presumably, they let the fish back go after they catch him. I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt. Never mind, they're trying to fuck up oh, these okay. fish. Oh, okay, he wants to boil fish. <laughs> <laughs> okay, never mind. He is that classic protagonist who didn't learn anything yep. from the episode. I mean, they say, like, if you're killing animals, the next step is humans. Wait, is that sandwich attached I'm gonna to a have line? A, what? He... That sandwich is attached to a line. <laughs> Who put a line in the, the sandwich? The fish! The fish are fishing him! Oh, <laughs> oh no! Where is he speaking I'm from? I'm hooked you on sound like that underwater. <laughs> what is this conversation he's having underwater? That's, That's it. it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, what just happened? They. I don't know what to say. Um. So they didn't actually. I guess the friend was the only one who actually ate the worms. Yeah, for an episode called Go Eat Worms, there's uh, not a lot of worm eating. No, no. In fact, some would say a disappointing lack of worm eating. Yeah. You know, I actually, I remember the ending, and I don't know if it's because I wasn't really giving it my full attention. I was too busy making jokes, but I remember the ending having a more, like, shocking feel to it, except for... The di that he's having like a full conversation underwater. I have a feeling that maybe the original ending was that he gets like pulled out and the friend watches him and like they just show the water and like nothing comes up. Oh my god. And it was like the friend dies and I was like, Oh, that's like amazing and like they added that whole like I mean that that dialogue was so long for it to be like a Well, I think that in the story thing, right? Like it felt like they were like, Okay, we gotta like chill out here and like i think the dialogue was making it seem like oh don't worry even though he's underwater he's still alive but how could he be exactly. how could he be alive? well that too like <laughs> well that's the thing like i feel like they were trying to go really hard with that ending and be like this is what happens when you mess with animals like you will be killed like yeah and then they were like eh, no that's too harsh let's uh <laughs> let's, let's throw in a few sentences of him speaking underwater with no explanation and just have him say that he's okay the editor of this episode was just like saying to the director like i got i get what you were going for but dude this children watch this <laughs> yeah, do you think the director was like ah have some cojones we're gonna <laughs> kill this kid <laughs> we're gonna kill this kid off the editor, this is my episode the editor was like look man i i have a six-year-old and a ten-year-old at home and i don't want them watching this like we can't we can't end with this kid being dragged underwater and not coming back up oh my god if only they did if only they did yeah that would have that would have definitely rocked my world this evening <laughs> all right so but unfortunately our worlds were not rocked no no i mean think about how rocked you could be by that giant worm wink wink <laughs> that was that looked like a giant penis yes a lot of phallic imagery and like and as far as works of art with phallic imagery go this has to be <laughs> you know top five <laughs> <laughs> i mean as much as it like really didn't uh make so much sense it wasn't very cohesive I kind of enjoyed it as an overall episode. Uh, I enjoyed the, I enjoyed the kid. There are some times where the main character annoys me, and 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 this this main character, I, I don't know. I he was funny. I liked him. I like the protagonist. He's very flawed. You know, he starts off as this big jerk, like pranking his sister with the worms, and then he goes through this journey of like, oh the worms are coming after me like i don't want to mess with that you know this house is worm free <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then you think he's learned his lesson and then it's like oh well now he's just putting his 
frustrations or whatever you want to call it. like he now he's focusing on a different animal like he didn't learn his lesson he just learned not to mess with something that was clearly going after him. he was abused I, I respect the the character arc there he was abusing the worms he had a close encounter with a giant worm it was like okay no more i will not abuse another worm but fish on the other hand, <laughs> and then starts like plotting with his friend about how he's going to boil fish alive and, oh my God. and like lower the temperatures to see like how cold it can get before they die. And I was like, yeah, yeah. you, you really, you, you hit the nail on the head when you're like this, this is what a serial killer <laughs> starts and off then as. His fate is that he gets sucked in to the water and maybe now he'll learn his lesson. I mean, I think th- that kind of makes sense of the cruel ending of like, this kid hasn't learned his lesson he should pay the ultimate price. Do you think his uh is his friend how how close were these two friends? Was his friend going to jump in after him or was his friend going to like I mean, quietly I think if walk his away? I going to jump in after him, he would have jumped in and he did not. <laughs> so he was kind of like, well, you get what you get. Luke, would you jump in after me if I w- Absolutely not. No. <laughs> Sorry. You deserved it. Come on. I, I thought that was... <laughs> uh, maybe. Uh, Luke. Are you abusing worms right. and fish? What, what, if, what if we're staying at my grandparents' shore house and like your options your <laughs> options are either head back to the shore house without me or jump back in and save me? I guess I have to save you <laughs> because of your hospitality <laughs> and your beach house. <laughs> you bribed me once again. <laughs> That's the only reason I started this podcast with you is because I want to go to your beach house. Oh, I cannot wait for our Boost Gumps episode on the beach. <laughs> oh, it's coming. Oh, it's coming. It's- as soon as this quarantine ends, we are going to be on the sand. And we'll have to, I think I'll have to look through some episodes to save uh, some beach related ones. Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure. I would love that. Uh, this is a tough one in terms of ah or nah. Ah or nah is our rating system. I'm going to give this one, it's an ah. I liked it. You know, it. the giant worm is very, like, as much as it's goofy, it's kind of terrifying. And I like to imagine the Luke ending of the kid not speaking after he's pulled into the water and he is dying. <laughs> as bleak as that it may be. Oh, you're giving this episode the benefit of the doubt in your ranking. I, I liked it. You had, What was your rating, John? Yeah, I'm also going to give it a ah, but I would like to clarify that of the ahs I've given out so far, this is probably a lower tier ah. It's a lackluster ah. Yeah, it's more like a ah, but I enjoyed it. Yeah, I enjoyed it too. Uh, How is your cranberry vodka what was it peach snapple <laughs> yep that was that was the combo it was the quarantine special and uh the quarantine shuffle it, quarantine shuffle it was pretty delicious uh i haven't i I'm, i mostly drink beer so when i do have the occasional mixed drink it's kind of a nice change of pace how was your blue moon how was your double beer your blue moon trader jose's my bad moon rising it it worked it was something that i thought would be gross like worms, but it ended up going down a lot smoother, like this episode. All right. I'll, dr- <laughs> I'll drink to that. Cheers. All right. Well, uh, thanks for watching and listening, and uh, listener, be wary. These times are scary, but we'll get through them. That we will, and stay safe out there, everybody. Stay safe, stay healthy. Thanks for listening.